For centuries now, humans have created stories of beings that may dwell in the skies. In the early 20th century, our ancestors had a, hit a mysterious milestone. Astronomers claimed to have seen straight line features on Mars. This raised speculation that the planet may be home to an advanced alien species. And it fueled the rise of pulp science fiction with movies and books about flying spaceships and blue aliens. Now, decades later, scientists have found the strongest evidence yet of life on another planet. And it doesn't come from Mars or any other planet in our solar system. It comes from a world that exists trillions of kilometers away. Here's a report. The search for life beyond Earth is as old as time. It has led scientists to explore many mysteries from the possibility of an ocean on Mars to clouds of gas on Venus. But despite the advances, the movies with green aliens, the spottings of what look like flying saucers, Earth's inhabitants remain alone in the universe. Well, that may change soon. A team of researchers at the University of Cambridge has found new evidence. And it is the strongest indication yet of extraterrestrial life, not in our solar system, but on a massive planet. It is known as K218b. This planet is two and a half times the size of Earth. It orbits a star 120 light years away from us. That is more than a thousand trillion kilometers, a distance far beyond what any human could travel in their lifetime. The Cambridge team has been studying this planet's atmosphere using the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope is so powerful, it can analyze the composition of a planet's atmosphere from the light that passes through. And scientists have been doing just that repeatedly. That's when they found signs of molecules, which have only one known source on Earth, and that is life. They found signs of dimethyl sulfide and dimethyl disulfide. On Earth, Certain forms of algae produce these compounds, which then waft into the air and add to the distinct odor of the sea. I think the only scenario that explains all of this is one where it's a Haitian world that is teeming with life. And what is a Haitian world? It's an ocean covered surface with a thin hydrogen rich atmosphere. So, and the ocean being habitable. The word Haitian is a portmanteau of hydrogen and oxygen. No matter how many times scientists revisited their readings, they found strong signals leading to the presence of Hycean seas brimming with life on the planet. In fact, they were surprised by how much gas they detected in the atmosphere. It was thousands of times higher than what is present on Earth, and this is a fascinating potential landmark discovery. We say potential because this is a tentative discovery both the team and independent researchers stress that more data is required to confirm the results that said. This is a monumental uh, discovery. It is very important, but we also have to be extremely cautious. The, the reason is that this is one of the biggest questions we have asked as a species in all of science, in that we want to be really, really robust in establishing whether this is actually life that we are seeing. This discovery is exciting in itself. It is a testament to the advances in science and if proven to be true. If scientists confirm that there is life on the planet, experts say that it pretty much confirms that life is very common in the galaxy. And that would be completely out of this world, quite literally. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. No, I, I, I love India. Presence, uh, occupation of a territory by another country pertains to India, what we saw in Kashmir. How do you see Trump's America? Yes, the current administration behaves differently from the previous administration. Are you saying that there are foreign powers who are trying to bring down the current government in yes, Syria? Exactly. Iran, maybe Russia too. Prime Minister Modi committed to uh, South-South, you know, corporations. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty.